What's up everybody, it's Conger Live. We're back again with another DC Worlds Collide video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at the event. There was a notification about a bug fix for the event, so it should have already happened. I don't have that up because they don't have that note up anymore. If you're new to the channel, then you kick the like button, subscribe for more content, and let's get into it. So uh, they have the update date content about maintenance on 519. That was today. Um, and that is where they fixed supposedly the bug for the event. Um, they have after recruiting characters 180 times, someone will be able to select the epic characters that they do not own as desired characters. So that's really cool. At the same time, we've provided a feature that allows the number of times recruited of desired characters to be reset one time by spending 800 diamonds. Now, 800 diamonds is a lot to reset the recruitment of desired characters. Go ahead and just run through them. Um, and that way you can start unlocking characters you don't have. Because I know that I've gotten tons of duplicates of characters I don't want. Like, what's that flame guy? He's horrible. Anyways, um, made adjustments to wish rewards, and and that's what they they had they had made the changes for. Uh, the other update contents are, are old, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the event center. And we here we have the parallax collection item event. Um, it's. It's kind of nice to have another one of these events right after the last one for free play players. Um, we have these missions logged in today. Obtain 60 public security points today. I think I actually have all my daily missions already done. I just haven't collected the points for those. There we go. Oh, my squad. I never did this. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, quick dispatch says most of it. been quite a busy day for me IRL which is why I'm getting to doing this late but we get it all done support there we go we collect all of our points for the parallax event um, but these uh, these events are definitely not free to play friendly uh, um, they you're gonna need to spend to get a chance of unlocking these new characters unless you get like extremely uh, lucky research one time, 15 times. So you get these for doing the research. Research is just flipping a tile over. Boom, core rewards right away. We're gonna jump right into the next tier because we want, these are the, the rewards we want. I guess. Uh, we're getting a few of them. We also want those tickets because those tickets are going to help us buy. Oop. And things just get more and more expensive. Going through it. We also have the new digital universe. Um, and this is, gives you a chance to earn the, uh, what are they called? The research data. Um, so this one's new stage. Polar access rotation, digital universe is available. Limited time, Green Lantern. So we're going to jump on into here. And we got some interesting stuff going on. The lantern ring energy is scanning. Please be the green lantern core. Jessica, why are you here? I thought it would be Star Sapphire. Are you got Carol Ferris? Were we teleported here as well? I detected lantern ring energy fluctuating in the space and was worried that it was an enemy. I didn't expect it to be you. I must say that this is fortunate. It seems like you didn't come here to find me. Never mind. Let's proceed together. Okay, so we got the uh, the, the lanterns for this huge map, right? You get a whole week to complete this. Uh, this just started today. We got some of these blasters, which are familiar. We got these rotating things. That looks like something new. We're going to have to check that out. We'll go ahead and get into the first battle. First few battles are generally easy. There are some revive pads. Definitely want to try and play strategically. Um, I'll go ahead and deploy my extra things. Put them in order. Okay, check my ultimates. Oh, I'm missing someone. Wait, that was an error. Ok, 
Okay, Green Arrow goes first. Should be easy right off the bat, so we want to get the uh, the damage out right off the bat. Okay, so here we get the explanation of what's going on. What's that ahead? A green digital wheel, I call it. Perhaps we can try to turn the green digital wheel to see if we can change the direction of the green digital pathway. So we click on this, rotating the wheel can change all dynamic pathways of the corresponding, as we go clockwise or, an, or anti-clockwise. We go anti-clockwise, that uh, connects us to the portable. Okay, we go clockwise. We're gonna have to do that twice so we can get this chest cannot proceed there we go and then we have to go turn this anti-clockwise or clockwise again two times so that slow process is a little bit annoying why would we fight this guy I don't know ah it's not a fight it's a pick someone well I already have Wonder Woman so I'm gonna add flash because he helps me go faster. Okay. Um, and since we obviously can't get through there, so we would need to blast that some way. Looks like there's no cannons in line to blast it, so we're going to be using uh, the pathways to teleport in order to get through this. Uh, agility, strength, uh, intellect. Well, intellect is my strongest group, but agility now that I have flash might be the better way to go and since green arrow shoots first I think I'm gonna go with agility um, of course whatever you decide is up to you depends on your roster um, we have a revive pad we got this blaster which will open up the path over here so I can access the cyan I'm assuming it's gonna be called cyan um, maybe blue uh, wheel and that's how you're going to be able to navigate through this until you can get to the end. Hmm, there's got to be a way of blasting those then. Ah, uh, okay. It's up there. There it is. All right. So let me know what you guys think about these events. I really like the Digital Universe ones. Uh, they're a lot of fun. But the collection item, those are tough because there's just like no way you're getting the new thing unless you're spending money. Um, I get it. They need to make money. Um... But, yeah, because in the shop here, uh, I want to buy the invisible plane fragments because I already have two of those. But it's going to take quite a bit of these tickets to get there. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys again for watching. Ninja, kick the like button, subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next video.